as the sun went down. We focused on how the weekend would shake out with regards to GTE Pro and GTE Am. Who would run off with those last titles yet to be decided here in the World Endurance Championship? The Pro for Am, the LMP2 qualifying later. In the Am category, it was a huge battle, but in the end, it was the Aston Martin of Dalalada, Lamy and Lauda that came out on top. Seven pole positions for the number 98 Aston Martin throughout this 2017 season. A couple of problems early on for the, uh, the Fords, but they got all sorted as it was a showdown between the others. Ferrari battling against the Aston Martin, but in the end it was the Ferrari that uh, jumped ahead and took the pole position in GTE Pro. In LMP2, the battle was still on between the Rebellion and the Jackie Chan car. Signatec Alpine a bit further back in the championship, but as Mark Webber looked on, very much part of the Porsche's 919 history. As he's here watching it do its last weekend of competitive action. The qualifying then got underway. A brilliant lap started things off from one of the manor cars. But then it was down to the big hitters, the rebellion of Senna and Canal. They were initially quick, but in the end finished up in third position on the LMP2 grid. The number 38. Thomas Laurent guided the car over its last lap to take second on the grid, but Sir Gustavo Menezes, Lapierre and Negrau have taken pole position in LMP2 here in Bahrain. What a time to do a lap such as that. In the big class, in LMP1, it was, are they going to be the Porsche or the Toyota? That was a given, we all know that. But in the end, it was even Stevens between them. It was a, a Toyota in fourth, a Porsche in third, a Toyota number seven in second position, but it was Nick Tandy, Lotra and Gianni who have taken pole position here in Bahrain.